so we've said that the way to add to these main tables, so not these two, but the others, uh, we can do an edit form and an add form and just put them in the menu. I'm not going to go through all of those, um, but if you're following this, you can go ahead and do all those. So let's look at adding the tracks and adding this party type. Let's look at the tracks first. Let's go to create and new form in a wizard. So what we really want to do is select a CD because I think that's how we'd be looking at it. We've, maybe we've just added a new CD and then we want to, and we've added the songs and now we want to add the tracks. Uh, so we want to say what songs are on the CD. So let's select the CD table and also the tracks table. And let's have a look at them. And we want to look at them, we're going to look at each CD and then we're going to put what tracks are on it. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it's all been pushed across quite a lot. Let's just go to design view and make it fit in. It's also because I'm using such a, a small screen. And this is CDs, and we can say edit. No, in fact, we won't say edit. So CDs, what are we doing there? The tracks. So CDs, tracks, edit. Let's see. make this a bit smaller there. Let's make these a bit smaller. Uh, move them a little bit left. Let's make this smaller. And let's move it over here. That'll fit in there, I think. Let's just save it and look again. So we've got the first CD, 70s hits, and these are the songs on it. A couple of things now. We don't want to let them edit this or even the, the CD name from here, and we just want to make this a bit longer. So let's go to design view. So I want to lock these two. Let's look at the properties, right mouse. Let's lock those, lock the data. Save that. And also, let's just make this a bit longer. And save again and have a look. Just so we can see the end of it here. I, I, I was just practicing earlier, I did a few more. Now, you can't edit these at all, the the ID or the name, you'd have to go into the, it, it's deliberate because you don't want to start editing this by mistake because this form is really for this. And what we can do then, so then we've set this CD and we can pick all the, this one will come up automatic and we can pick on, pick all the songs out that are on it. So maybe that night fever's on it. No, that was the same. Uh, yeah, so vain, maybe that's on it. And then we can enter all the ones on it. This automatically comes up because that's linked to the the uh, form here. Although you can change it, but you don't want it. That automatically comes out because it's the same. So then go to the next CD. And if you've got some to add on that. So when you're first putting in all your CDs, you can come in here and add them all. And that's what this is for. So that's okay. Let's, uh, okay, we've got that. Did we rename that? Is it renamed? I think at the moment it's still called CDs1. So let's just close it and rename it. So this one is CDs tracks, I think. 
and this can be add or edit, so we'll say add or edit. Because it will allow us to add or edit the tracks. And let's go to our uh, here, our switchboard manager. And it's in the forms menu. We're going to add a new one that's edit form. And the form is this one CD tracks add or edit. And let's just say that. In fact, let's copy this. In fact, see these tracks form. Let's just put it there so we know. Add or edit. So we've added it on the switchboard and we did a new form. So let's just check the switchboard out again. Under forms, CD tracks form add or edit. In fact, we've done it in the wrong place. But when we click on that, then we can add the or edit the CD tracks. That's okay. Let's just we didn't move it up. Let's click it and just move it up. So that's all right. And I think we only got one more thing to do on this database now. Although we that's the wrong name again. Let's uh, get it. Edit that. And it's just here. And not the record source, it's this one. Let's say CDs, tracks. No, there's tracks. That's it.